What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Shout out to my boy Shin. Shin, on this channel, you guys, all I'm doing is documenting what I'm doing. Shit, can't get any more basic than that. I'm just documenting what I'm doing, right? And so, <clears throat> if you've been following me since 2016, I've been building a social media agency, just mastering the art of reaching out to people, reaching out to business owners, finding them on social media, offering them services, and just providing a tremendous amount of value, right? Building a business, finding a niche, focusing on that niche, going all in on that niche, trying to master and continue to learn about that niche. Um, I've been doing that since 2016, all through the DM, all through social media marketing. Um, literally, literally hundreds of clients later, um, have somewhat perfected it have some have i i've somewhat mastered it i've somewhat somewhat um got good at what the hell i do now that was just the beginning that's just that's just how i started man now now as i learn more about paid traffic facebook ads youtube ads instagram ads as i really understand the power of paid advertising um for myself for my personal business now now i started direct messaging and then offering them services so again i got really good at that so therefore i never ran a facebook ad for myself to find a client because i just didn't need to i was direct messaging i was getting people on the phone the next day i was closing deals all damn day hundreds of deals later um you know you evolve and you start to do other things and so what I like to do is I like to really teach people the, the, the first step, like how can we get this thing off the ground um, on a shoestring budget, right? If, if we don't have much, you know, funds and, and money to, to go out there and advertise as a normal business would and should, us entrepreneurs, man, a lot of times we're solopreneurs. It's just us. We're starting from home. It's like, dude, the beauty of being able to build a business today, laptop, Wi-Fi connection, and my cell. That's literally all I need, man. Wi-Fi, my laptop, and my cell phone. And we can go out there and, and, and spread a message and build a business. So it's absolutely crazy today. Um, but my point is, is that the beginning is, 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 is the most important because not all of us have a huge budget at that, at, in, in the beginning of, of starting your, your entrepreneurship or your side hustle or whatever the heck you want to call it, your business, right? So these were these were strategies that I, that I love to teach about, man. These were strategies that I started with. They're strategies that I love to teach about, and they're and they're and they're super super effective. So shout out to my boy Shin. If you've been following me again, man, since 2016, this is what I've been doing in the trenches, mastering what I'm doing, right? Um, laptop Wi-Fi connection, and 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 built a built a huge business, man. So I'm fired up, and I'm fired up when 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 you guys comment. And let me know what, what's on your mind. So shout out to Shin, man. Um, he put great value. Thank you. I've been implementing this strategy for a week now and usually got five types of responses. This is perfect, man. This is exactly, exactly what it is, man. And I'm telling you, on my personal Facebook page, I'm at 5,000. So, so in 2016, um, into 2017, into 2017, I'm like, dude, and, and, and I only had, I don't know how many, how many friends on Facebook. I first perfected this on Facebook, then went over to Instagram and LinkedIn and Twitter. Those are the four platforms that the direct messaging strategy works with. Um, I started on Facebook. And so with Facebook on your personal page, you can have 5,000 friends, right? So I've been on Facebook for a minute. And so my Facebook friends, a ton of them were family real friends, you know, people that I actually went to school with, you know what I mean? People that I grew up in my neighborhood with, real people that I know, right? That used to consist of my Facebook personal page from 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 2019 and, and, and prior. So prior to 2019, because I didn't think of, of, of this until really mid 2019 where I'm like, dude, I'm almost at 5,000 friends because in 2016, I just started requesting a ton, requesting a ton, requesting a ton on my way to 5,000 friends. That took me a while to request that many people, right? And then in 2019, I had like a, like a few hundred people. I was like at 4,700, let's say. I was at 4,700. I needed 5,000. So there's 300 people there needed, right? But majority of all those 300 were people that I actually know. 
cousins, aunts, uncles, friends, wife's friends, like people that I actually went to school with, like real, real people that I knew, which was about a few hundred, right? Out of my whole 5,000, because to keep it real, like you guys don't have thousands of friends. No, you don't. You have a handful of friends, man. You literally have a handful. And if you're, and if you were really Mr. Popular and you knew everybody, you know, let's say you were that popular kid and you, you've been in your city forever and you just know everybody and you're the freaking mayor of your town. Okay. I get it. But still at the end of the day, man, on your thousands of friends on social media, it's really just a few hundred that are people that you actually know. If that me, it was like 200. It was like 200 people that I actually really still stayed in touch with that I knew and they were friends with me on Facebook. Okay. <clears throat> so towards the middle of 2019, I'm like, wait a minute, these people ain't really serving me any purpose. I don't really even need them on <clears throat> this Facebook. I want to shift them all to my Instagram. I could have did it to Twitter. I could have shipped them all to Twitter. I could have shipped them, but, but they all have Instagram. So I knew that if you have Facebook, you probably have Instagram. So I only stayed in touch with these people, people that I really knew, my friends, my family on Facebook, but I also knew they had an Instagram. So I said, Jason, Hey man, I'm closing out this account. I need it for business. Um, I'm moving all my real friends to my Instagram. And that's what I did, man. So to tell you the truth, you guys, I just started this Instagram not too long ago. You guys can all follow me here. Follow me on IG. But to tell you the truth, man, here's what I did. The 200 followers, majority of those 200 are literally all my real friends. Because I took them off of my Facebook page and I said, hey, man, don't follow me here on Facebook anymore. I need you to follow me on my Instagram. So these 200 people that are actually following, and then I'm following the 150, let's call it 158, the 158, the 158 that I'm, that I'm following are people that I actually know. So I just moved them all over here, man. And I freed up my 5,000 over here. And, and, and then, and then, and then I, and then I, um, and then I, and then I got to 5,000, 5,000 all in the same niche. So it's so crazy, man, because Shin is experiencing, damn, I got to already know. Sorry, guys. Shin is experiencing the reply, the, the, yeah, the, the, the replies when you send out a message and they reply, right. Shin is starting to get, get, get those replies. And so it's so crazy because at, once you follow thousands of people all in the, all in the same niche, it's th this right here, these replies used to blow my mind and they still do, but I'm already used to it because I'm already a few years in. So I already, yeah, I already know the replies. It's always the same replies, dude. Here's what happened. This is perfect, Shin. So shout out to Shin. This is, I, this is perfect. Um, you're going to send out messages and you on Facebook, you can tell they've seen it, right? You, you know, they open it up, you know, they've seen it, the little freaking profile picture drops. Um, and that's fine. They don't reply. They see it, but they never reply. That's one percentage. So a handful of percentage of people are going to see it, but not say anything and not even reply and not ever comment or not, and they're just dead, right? But they're there, their friends are on your Facebook. They just never, they never reply. I have, um, sometimes I keep those people around. Like, let's say, for example, as I'm prospecting, as I'm going throughout my day, as I'm working, as I'm messaging, I come across those ones, right? Because I'm always in the DM. I'm always following up with people. I'm always sending them another message, a follow-up message. Um, and, and so I'm always seeing these ones in my, in, my, in my direct messages, right? And so if it's been, let's just say, if it's been, if it's been more, than, more than, let's say, more than six months, if there was no engagement whatsoever, I'll unfriend them, okay? I'll unfriend them. Uh, but I'm not going to check them. I'm not going to check up on them all the time. I don't check to see who checks their messages. I don't care. I'm messaging so many people. I already know the replies that are going to come back. I already know the next copy and paste that I'm going to have to send. I already know that, that X amount are going to see it and not reply. I already know all that. So I'm not even, and, and, and it's all the same messaging. I'm not getting into crazy dialogue. I'm not explaining a bunch of stuff. I'm not talking about the weather. I'm not asking, Hey, how are you doing? I'm not asking any of that stuff, dude, these few messages that get a person on the phone with me are literally, literally the same and literally just a few. It's just a few messages, man. From the moment I message you to your reply, now that reply could, could take a couple months. Shit, let's keep it real. It's not a boom, 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 boom. You got to play around. That's what working your leads are. But I don't keep messaging someone. I don't keep freaking 
um, following up, I'll do it a couple times. And if that, if they never reply, then, um, then I unfriend them, then I unfriend them. If they're not replying after a few messages and they're just not replying, I unfriend them. And that's how my 5,000, I'm always keeping it fresh. That 5,000 friend list, you're always keeping it fresh. Um, you're not keeping dead weight on that friend list, okay? But at the same time, it's gonna take you a while to get to 5,000. Um, it took me, it took me a couple years. It took me a couple years to request and, and unfriend and clean out and unfriend my cousin, unfriend my aunt, unfriend my uncle and say, Hey man, go follow me on Instagram. Um, that took some time, but again, this is my full-time job. This is my full-time business. This is what I do. This is the strategy. The strategy when I got my thing up and going was to hit the DM and, and, and because I come from, from, from the lead game, I was a telemarketer forever. I've been in sales forever. I worked leads forever. I purchased leads forever. I know how to work leads. I ran a call center. I owned a call center. Um, I've been around leads for the past 20 years, right? Everything is about a lead. Um, and so, and so I treat my direct messaging. I, tr I, tr I treat my, my messages. I treat that the same, man. That's my list. Don't mess with my direct mark. Don't don't mess with my direct messaging list, right? That's the same. I that, that I hold that thing dear to me, like you would hold your list, right? You're a telemarketer, you're a consultant, you're a coach. You got a database. You got a list of people that you call, that you contact, that you reach out. You got a text freaking group that you're sending out promotions or whatever the heck, however the heck you're building your business, man. My list is my DM. My list is my Facebook friend list. So that friend list and that DM, I take care of, right? I clean out, I maintain, um, and the ones that see it, but, but just never reply for months and months and months. And, they, and then I send them another message and, and um, to follow up, maybe say, hey, Stacy, just wanted to see if you, um, you know, got any, well, well I don't want to, I'll, I'll explain that as we go the next steps. I don't want to get ahead of myself. But um, to answer number one, to answer number one, you're going to have those. That's a small percentage and that's totally fine. Totally fine. Who cares? Don't, don't micromanage that. Who cares? It doesn't even matter. Okay. Um, we're looking for the ones that reply and we're, we're looking for the ones that reply pretty sooner than later. You know, um, the fired up ones are going to reply right away. The fired up ones, they're going to reply soon. They're going to reply within, within the hour or they'll reply within a few minutes. They'll reply. Um, and I'll tell you what, what to expect on that one. But number two, thanks. Great to connect too. Have a good day. Good day. Perfect. That right there is good. Now the algorithm opened up, they replied. This type of stuff is important, man. People that are, that are commenting on your stuff, people that are liking your stuff, people that you're commenting on, you're liking, people that are opening up your messages, all that feeds into the favor of the algorithm. And no matter what platform it is, um, so just the fact that they, they opened the email, the fact that they seen it, the fact that they replied, thanks. Great to connect too. have a good day. Perfect. And I'll leave it at that, man. I'll leave it at that. I leave, I'll leave it at that. Um, and I'll just, I'll just let that ride for, 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 for a while. And then I'll get back to that part. And then number three, my social media is set already. Okay. Here's the thing about this, man. Here's the thing about this. As, as a salesman that you are, agency owner, freelancer, coach, consultant, whatever the hell you want to call yourself, right? You're a salesman. You're closing deals, okay? Everyone's a salesman. We're all salesmen, man. Have pride. It's all good. I love it. But when it comes down to your services, okay, everyone's services is different. My services are different. Your services are different. Everyone, we're, we're all saying that we're doing the same stuff, but we're, we all have a different approach. Whether it's your process, whether it's the steps, whether it's the strategies, whether it's the onboarding, whether it's now, now it could all be the same thing. You're, you're bringing on a client to run Facebook ads. You're bringing on a client to run YouTube ads. You're bringing on a client to run Instagram ads. You're bringing on a client to manage their social media. Okay. What does that consist of? Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, right? You're bringing on a client to manage their SEO or to run Google ads for them. Whatever the heck you're doing, man you have a process, you have a, a certain way of doing it and it is what it is, right? Um, in my particular case, I have a handful of steps. Like I call it the five steps, five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. 
that right there is a book that I put together, a digital book, 50 pages, wrote it, put it together, PDF, give it to my, I, 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 that's what I use as bait for my social media, you know, agency. And I, and I capture leads with it and, you know, drive traffic to it and freaking, that's what I do. Right. Um, but I have the I have these five steps. I have these five steps that I that I that I truly believe that ninety nine percent of businesses miss when it comes to social media marketing and Facebook advertising. And so these are simple five steps. These are five steps that we all know. Like we all know these five steps. Like link customization, your page likes on your Facebook page, freaking the right way to run Facebook ads and take over your local area and, and, and making sure that you drive it to a landing page, making sure that you're capturing that lead and putting that lead into some type of autoresponder, whether it's an email autoresponder, whether it's a messenger bot, whether it's a text freaking auto, auto, auto automated um, uh, messages that go out, it don't matter, whatever. You got to understand, man, that when it comes to the internet, Forget about just social media. When it comes to the internet, social media is the internet. The internet is social media, like the internet. When it comes to the internet, the strategy has never changed. It's always been the same. Take someone to a freaking landing page. Look, um, let's go to, take someone to a simple landing page this is this this has never changed, man. This has never changed. You can call it landing pages today, and now there's you know tons of hype around you know landing pages. Whether it's a landing page, we want to call it that, or whether it's a website, it's the internet. The strategy has never changed. It's always been the same. Where you drive someone to a freaking page, they click and enter their name and email. Okay, that right there, I'm here to tell you, man that's as basic as it gets. And that's all it's about. Like, it's all about that. Like whether you're selling a product online or whether you're capturing a lead, that's the name of the game. So the person that wins at this is the person that can, that, that, that can get the most amount of people to this page. Bottom line, game over. Whoever can spend the most on paid traffic, because that's the only way you're going to get tons of people. You're not going to freaking, I, dude, I don't care if you're freaking Gary V and posting 37, you know, thousand pieces of content a day on social media. You're not going to get there. You're not going to get there organically. Like you're just not, you have to run paid traffic. If you're a marketer, you have to be either doing this crap for yourself or doing it for other clients running paid traffic. But my point is, is that the person who can spend the most can get the most amount of people to this page, to opt-in. That right there is the name of the game. And so where we're at today with the internet, with social media specifically, is that these small business owners know the importance of it. They just don't know how to do it. They don't know how to drive the click to this simple page to capture a lead for them, to get them an, a, a scheduled appointment for a teeth whitening of, and they're a dentist to get them an appointment for some freaking spinal freaking massage cracking because they're a chiropractor or to get someone through their door because they're a restaurant and they have some amazing lunch specials going on and they want to promote it to the whole local area. And they live here in San Diego, their business is here in San Diego and they want to hand out coupons, but they don't want to do it the old school way, radio ad, TV commercial, flyers, they don't want to do it the traditional way. They want to do it on social media. They want to run Facebook ads. They want to run Instagram ads. They want to run a YouTube ad. And I'm here to tell you when anyone clicks on that ad on social media, they're coming to this one page. So when you can offer this, you guys, I'm telling you, man, that, that, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. The person that can get good at driving traffic to a page to get, give people the opportunity to opt in to what you're talking about and, and request more information because they're fired up and they're interested um in fact you know what then then that's that's the person that wins so what i'm saying is that you need to know your services when i get this reply when i get this reply okay i go look at their social media and i'm, I'm telling you man i'm telling you i'm telling you Again, this is only because I have sp specific services. I have a handful of services, just like you walk into any restaurant and there's a menu. 
there's not one, unless it's the same franchise, but there's not one restaurant, unless it's the same franchise, there's not one single restaurant that you can walk into, see a menu, walk out, go to another restaurant and see the same menu. That does not even exist anywhere in any place on the entire planet unless it's a franchise you walk into mcdonald's it's the same menu if it's here or if it's in kentucky same damn menu maybe maybe a slight difference a slight difference but hamburger fries that shit is all the same right like that's on the menu so we all have a different menu man we're all our own individual restaurants we all have our own menu and the menu are the services that you're providing. So in my case, when, when they tell me that, because I'll get that reply every now and then, but a small percentage, man. Small percentage is number one. Super small percentage is number three. A small percentage is, is even number two because they're either not going to reply, which is number one, or they do reply, and that's number two. And that, that's exactly what they'll say, man. Thanks. Great to connect to. You know, have a good day. That's exactly what they'll say. And I just let them marinate. I let number, number two, I let them marinate. I let them just chill for a while. I don't hit them up right now. And it's all good. We're friends. We're friends on Facebook. We're just friends. And then number three, my social media. So already, again, I look at their, I look at their platforms, and 100% of the time, they're missing all my steps. So Shin, you want to get really good at your steps and whatever your steps are, are the pain points of that niche. So you have to break down that niche and find out, okay, what do they want? I'm here to tell you right now, man, every business wants a lead. Every business wants a sell. Every business wants a new customer. That is it, man. That is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. So when you can break it down and, and, and put it in an elementary type of, 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 of perspective and say, hey, man, all we got to do is run traffic, get them to a lead form, get them to download something that you're offering for free, and we get them on a list. When you can explain that and really execute on that to any business owner, they will freaking pay you. And so what I'm saying is that businesses on social media very, very few capture leads. Very, very few capture leads. They may say they may have some type of following on social media. They may have a ton of people following them on Instagram, a few thousand people following them on Instagram. But I'm telling you, man, that's all organic and you cannot rely on just organic. You got to build it. That's why I'm over here building a YouTube channel, getting my face out, right? You got to still build it. But at the end of the day, you can't rely on that becoming transactional income until you get super big, man. When you get super, super big and you're a Gary V, then you can, then you can, or you're a freaking Russell Brunson or someone like that, then you can rely on simply organic, even a little bigger, like a Dan Henry, which is not as big as far as social media following as like a Ty Lopez, for example, but even a Ty Lopez, as big as his following is organically, that dude is still the, the king of paid ads. That guy is running ads 24-7. On social media so it's like dude at the end of it it's gonna be paid traffic driving them to a landing page something simple like this one and capturing the lead I'm telling you man businesses do not know how to do that and 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 I'm telling you from a marketers perspective that's simple that is super super simple man so it's like I do all of my of my um, landing pages and my email automation I do all that through Kartra so there's a 14-day trial. Link is in the description. Profitwithkartra.online. You're going to need it, man. You're going to need it. You're either going to be putting landing pages like this together for yourself or you're going to be putting landing pages like this together for clients, okay? And, and, and you don't want the client necessarily right away to have to go pay $99 a month for a Kartra system, for example, for a landing page software, for example. You don't want to pitch that to them the first month the first month you do it out of your here, here's what i do the first month i'll build it out of mine i'll build the landing page the email automation because chances are the first month it's just a couple campaigns it's not like it's it, it's an extensive again depend on your menu depend on your services i'm not this is not really a huge part of my services at all um but if i do bring them bring them aboard as as a client where i'm building out sales funnels and landing pages then, then the first month I'll use mine. 
I'll use mine. I'll say, hey man, this is software that I pay for. It's $99 a month, but here's why I use it. I create landing pages and I have my entire email automation set all through it. And that's Kartra. So profitwithkartra.online, keep that, that link in the description, you guys. Set up a 14-day trial and, and, and compare it to what you're currently doing to service your clients. This is what I use, right? This is what I use. So I tell them, I say, hey, man, it's freaking, it, it, it's $99 a month, but the first month, what I can easily do just to kind of show you that I really am fired up about working with you and, and, and I can really, you know, we can really get out the gates, you know, right away on, on, on this budget. I'll just create it out of my, out of my account. And then, and then if, 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 if it makes sense and if we're capturing leads and we're, you know, crushing it, then you, you'll want to get your own account, you know? Um, so that's how I do it, man. And then, and then when I set up their, their account, I do it under my affiliate link. So I make a commission every month on that. It's 40% of, of, so $40, a $40 commission residually every month on their account. Um, so that, that's a good thing too. So I'll tell them, man, I'll, I'll look at all this. So, so here's what I'm saying, Shin. Number three, man. Let's get back. Here's what I'm saying, is that when I go look at when, when they tell me that, when they reply, I'll go look at their account, at their Facebook, their Instagram. I'll I'll see, I'll look at their business page. I'll look at the like count. I'll look at the the links. I'll look at everything that's set up. And I'm telling you, man, 100% are missing everything that's everything that's on my menu. Everything that that is on my menu, they're missing. And I'm telling you, man, this is a chiropractor. This is a dentist. This is a lawyer. This is a real estate agent. This is an insurance agent. Excuse me. All this coffee is making me burp. This is a plumber, right? This is someone like that that is telling you my social media is set already. It's like, fool, you don't even know what social media means to your business. What are you talking about? Like, no, it's not like your, your stuff looks like crap. You know, that's, that's what I'm thinking in my head. Now that's not my reply. You know what I mean? But that's definitely what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this guy's crazy. Like what the, he has no idea what his pages are missing. And so I'll reply back and I'll say, and I'll say something like, you know, what makes you think it's ready? You know, it, it, so he, or, or what, what makes you think it's set? That, that could be a simple, a simple question, a simple reply. And that's going to obviously open up dialogue, but really not much because all they're going to do is they're going to answer that question. They're going to reply back. And then, and then whatever they say doesn't even matter. And, and here's what I tell them. I'll reply back and I'll say, are you capturing leads on social media? Or, or I'll say, are you capturing local leads on social media? Because chances are they're running a local businessman, dentist, chiropractor, realtor, mortgage loan originator there unless unless i mean when i was in mortgages and in the real estate i was dealing nationwide but i know 99 percent of them are local so if they're if they're a plumber or, or a landscaper or any kind of business like that i'll reply back and i'll say are you capturing local leads from it it's set your social media is set already okay cool are you are you capturing local leads that's a question that i would ask man and when they reply back that's when it's on they reply back to that one. That if, if you replied back to that question, are you capturing local leads? They're either going to say yes or no. Okay. Bottom line. And even if they kept it that short, yes or no. Okay, cool. They reply back and say, yes. I reply back and say, man, great job. Keep doing what you're doing. Have a phenomenal day. You rock. That's my reply. Honestly, sincerely, that's my, my reply. And they appreciate that, man. There's no, there's no, there's no negative talk. There's no rebuttal. There's no trying to be me, trying to be a closer. No, man, that's not your prospect. That's not your client. That's not who we are looking for. And that's perfectly fine. So when I reply back and say, hey, man, great job. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'll let that marinate for however long until I come back to it, until I come back to it. Okay. Number four, I'm not interested. Awesome. I'm glad you saved us a bunch of time. I don't want to message you either. I'm not interested in messaging the wrong people either. Awesome. <clears throat> right. When they put back, I'm not interested. Now, a lot of you salespeople out there would be like, well, David, you know how many people I closed from someone telling me I'm not interested? Yeah, dude, you can go into rebuttal and you can, you can, you can, you can, you can message that person for the next freaking 10 messages, but that's not my, that's not where I put my energy. 
at all. Like I have no time to continue to message and, and, and take on a dialogue and convince and sell you on trying to talk to me on the phone. Like, no, no, dude, like this is social media. So the, the, <clears throat> we're friends. Keep in mind, man, we're friends on Facebook. Like <clears throat> that's, that's the, that was the whole approach in the beginning. That's the psychology behind my strategy in the beginning is that we're friends. So <clears throat> I'm not going to get all crazy with you. Like, I'm not going to spam you. I'm not going to like freaking get all disrespectful and, 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 and call you out and say your social media sucks. Like, I'm not going to say it that way, but, but, but I am going to ask, you know, what makes you think it's set? Like, are you capturing leads? Are you capturing local leads from it? That's exactly what I would write. What makes you think it's set? And are you capturing local leads from it? And, and, and whatever they say. So if they say, yes, I am great, man, keep up the phenomenal work. You're doing a great job. Don't, don't fix what ain't broke. And then I let it marinate. I let it marinate. And then, and then I'm not interested. I could easily reply back and say, not interested in what? Like I can, I can easily say something like that, which, which, which I don't really, I don't do it at all. I don't do it at all. If anything, I could be like, okay, well, I just, I was just reaching out because I noticed there was a few things like here, here's a good thing you can say on, on number four, you could say, you could, if they say that you could say, Hey man, no worries. I was just reaching out. I know, I noticed a few things missing on your social media that, 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 that I come across all the time. You know, I've helped a lot of plumbers, you know, build their social media brands and capture local leads from Facebook and other social media platforms. I was just reaching out because I, 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 I know I can help you get more, more deals or I know I can help you get more clients or I know I can help you build your social media brand. No worries. Have a great day. So that, that's like a very non-aggressive but very direct type of message. No worries, man. I was just reaching out because, you know, I work with a ton of plumbers and I noticed that there was a ton of things missing on your pages. I didn't know if you were really, you know, leveraging social media and, and capturing leads because I just know that there, there's, a, there's, there's a ton of, you know, um, 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 <clears throat> benefits that, that I'd love to share with you. You know, I, I, I think you're missing a ton of them. I think you're missing the basics. I think your, I, th I think your pages can definitely use some improvement. And I work with a lot of plumbers on all this stuff. So I'd love to just give you some free tips and, and just show you, you know, what you're missing and how you can just improve it to capture more local leads. Let me know if you have a few minutes tomorrow and I, and I'd love to chat with you. You know, I can, I can send you a link to my zoom. Um, I can, I can, I can visually share my screen so I can show you what your pages are missing. And that's what I do, man. That's all I tell them in the message. Shen. And I say, Hey man, I, let me know if you have a few minutes tomorrow. You know, it's, it's a free call. I'd love to just share my screen and visually show you what your pages are missing and how you can simply do some simple tweaks to really improve it and, and really build your social media brand and help you capture more local leads than you ever, than you ever have before. And, and I make, and, and that's my message, man. That's my message in a nutshell. That's my message, but maybe broken up in a couple messages. Um, I don't send them a crazy long paragraph. You know what I mean? But everything. So, so pause the video, rewind the video, write down, I write down exactly what I said in the, in the past minute or so here. Because these are all my bullet points. These are all my messages, man. This is what I tell the person. And it's all about scheduling that call. I don't have time or the energy to go into crazy messaging with you. It's just boom, boom, boom. Okay, you're not interested. Okay, no worries, man. All good. No big deal. I was just reaching out because I noticed there was a ton of things missing on your social media. Or I was just reaching out because I help a ton of plumbers. And I just know I can help help bring more clients to you. I know a lot of plumbers don't you know, leverage social media exactly how they can be. And I'd love to just give you some free tips on what you can do to improve your social media and capture more local leads than you ever had before. That's the message, man. And I make it sound like a free tip call. Like, dude, let's schedule a call. I'd love to just give you some free tips that you can really benefit from. Remember, you guys, this is a freaking landscaper. This is a freaking dentist. They've been in freaking denture, dentistry, dentistry. I can't even say the damn word. They've been in dentistry school. If that's what it's called. I don't even know if it's called that. Sounded right. They've been in that shit for the past 27 years. And what do they know about running a Facebook ad? They don't, man. They don't know about none of this stuff. They just know the importance of it. And that's why you are a huge component. You're a huge piece to their puzzle um, of success of social media marketing for their business. You're a huge piece of the puzzle. You are the damn puzzle. So 
if if anything, man, I'll reply to a not interested like that. Um, and 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 if they don't reply to that, like so I so I reply back, not interested in what okay, no worries, man. Again, I work with a ton of plumbers. I just know that there was a ton of things missing on your pages that I can really help you improve um, to, to build your social media brand and help you capture more local leads. Remember, the, the word local is so important because most of these business owners are local business owners. Unless they're nationwide, obviously, you got your nationwide ones. But the majority of people run a local business, okay? Um, I don't care if you're finding them on social media. It doesn't matter. They have a local business. They have a local business. Okay. It, it's like, um, so, so that's what I would do in, in the not interested in the not interested. Um, I would just know that, that, that they're, whatever they're telling me, they're not interested in. It's, it's mainly because they're either, they, they're already doing it and they are genuine where they'll reply back and say, man, David, I'm capturing so many leads on social media. It's not even funny. If that's the case, man, I give them their brownie points. I tell, I'm telling you, man, I give them kudos. I say, hey, man, great freaking job. High five. Keep up the phenomenal work. You're doing it. You're, 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 you're going big. You know what I mean? Like, I'll just compliment them in a friendly way and leave and get off. Like, that's not who I'm looking for, right? Um, but, if they, but if they reply back and say, and, and this is someone that said, I'm not interested, but they reply back and they say, no, I'm not, I'm not capturing local leads, but whatever. Like, then that's, of course, man, you can go into as many messages as you want with them, but I don't waste the time. That's not someone that's, they, they failed on getting my time. My time is valuable. I'm not going to just talk to any freaking idiot. If they're a business owner, which is why I'm prospecting them but their mind is in the gutter. That's all this is, man. I'm not interested. Your mind's in the gutter, bro. Good luck. Seen, but you don't even want to reply? Are you kidding me? Like, I'm over here telling you that I can help you with your social media marketing. I'm over here telling you that I can give you more clients and get you more business, but you don't want to reply? Okay, great. So number one, I'm assuming that you're already full of business and you don't need no more, and that's a great problem to have. But if you're not that business owner, where you have so much business, you don't even know what to do with it. If you're not that business owner, because there are those business owners, there's definitely those business owners that have so many leads, they can't even go, go through them all. That's a good problem to have. Shout out to you guys. But not, that's 1%. That's 1%. 99% of every bozo building a business do not have that problem. They don't have the problem of too many customers. Yeah, right. So if you're going to see it and not reply, dude, okay, good luck to you too, bro. Like, you're not someone I want to talk to. That mindset's not not there. This one, thanks. Great to connect with you too. Okay, great. So I can, I can assume mm, that you got enough business, that you're busy enough. Okay, cool. I'll let that one marinate. We went over this one. My social media is, is set already. Okay, based on what? What is set? What is your definition of set, Mr. Chiropractor? What is your definition of a set social media? What does that mean? And again, Shin, so in my case, my menu, my services that I offer these clients, 100% of them are missing it. 100% of the niche that I'm after and I truly believe that it's every business. It don't matter the niche. It don't matter the niche. So whatever niche you're going after, it doesn't even matter. I'm here to tell you 100% are missing what I offer. They're missing it, man. And these are basics. These are landing pages, email, autoresponder, Facebook ads, freaking link, Facebook, I mean, social media links, making sure your links are all up to date and listed and legit, legit looking. Like these are basics. And, and so in my case, man, I, I 100% of businesses miss it. They, ju they just do, man. They just do. Now, I don't have time to go after 100% of every business, nor do I want to. So you pick your niche, pick your niche, get your menu, set, set your menu. What services are you providing? Don't say you do it all. No, man, niche down your service as well. Don't try to be a jack of all trades. Don't try to offer freaking a million services to these people. No, dude, niche down. What do you want to focus on? Focus on if you're going to run Facebook ads, okay, cool. Call yourself a Facebook ad agency and, and, and that's what you're going to perfect. You're going to perfect driving paid traffic from a Facebook ad to a simple landing page 
to get people to opt in for that business, whatever it may be, man, whatever it may be, whatever that business is, there's something here that they can give away for free. Okay. Um, a free download, a free PDF, a free coupon, whatever. This is your only job, man. I would niche down. I would niche down on your services for sure. Um, and, 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 and know, and know that they're not implementing them. They're not implementing them. So their definition of set. Okay, cool. What is your definition of set, Larry? They, they reply back with number three. What's your definition of set, Larry? Yeah, I reached out because, you know, I, I've, I've been helping plumbers for the past few years with their social media marketing and Facebook advertising. And I just, I just, I just noticed, you know, a, a few, a few basics that your pages are missing that I really believe if you, if you implemented them, you'd be capturing more local leads than you could possibly handle. I was just reaching out because I, I wanted to, you know, extend some value to you and really see if I can help you. But if you're, if you're all set, that means you're already capturing leads and you're already capturing local leads. And if that's the case, man, I wish you the best. Awesome. Keep up the phenomenal work. But hey, man, if you're not capturing local leads, you may want to redefine your definition of set because we should maybe talk. Let me know your best time. Send me your email and your best time tomorrow. And I'll add us to the calendar and email you a confirmation. And what I do is I have a calendar, so they'll they'll reply back. They'll reply back with their um, with their email, not their phone number. I get them on Zoom just like this. They'll reply back with their best time and email, and that's when I come over here to my calendar. They don't see this calendar. Um, I come over here to my calendar and I book that call for them. They told me tomorrow. They told me Friday at at 5 p.m. Okay, great. I'm booking it. And then through my Kartra system, through my Kartra system, is where I have my email autoresponder set up. Is where I have my email autoresponder set up and my calendar set up. Um, and that's this calendar over here. So this is a Kartra calendar. This is a Kartra calendar. So profitwithkartra.online is what I use for my calendar, my landing pages, and my email autoresponder, okay? Um, so again, man, again, their definition is different than mine. You're not interested. You're not inter interested in what? In capturing more leads, in closing more deals, in making more money? Isn't that why you're in business, Stacy? What are you not interested in? Okay, so then you must already be doing enough business. Oh, shit, that's all you had to tell me. Damn, John. That's all you had to say, bro. If you have so much business coming in and you can't deal with no more, you got money coming out of your ears and you can't even cash it as, as, as fast as you get it. Like, okay, cool, man. Let me know that. Don't just say I'm not interested because I'm going to, I'm a salesman. So I'm going to go off and, and, and come at you again, if that's the case. But if you're not interested because you already have a ton of business, great, man. No worries. I was just reaching out because I help a ton of plumbers. And I noticed you were missing a ton of the basics on your social media platforms. I wanted to see if I can help. That's why I reached out, man. But I understand you're not interested. If you're already capturing a bunch of lead, local leads on social media, shit, man, more power to you. But if not, let me know if you have a few minutes tomorrow. We could schedule a quick call. Um, send me your email and best time. And I'll email you the link for Zoom. I use Zoom so I can share my screen and visually show you. Um, what you can implement and so send me your email and best time i'll add us to the calendar and email you a notification right away and so that's when i take their email again you guys i take their email and i entered into um i entered into my kartra calendar and through my kartra calendar an, an email notification an email notification goes out and um and um 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 um, um that appointment is booked okay so that's kind of how i handle number four shin number five interested to learn more perfect perfect here's exactly what i tell them i say great um um let me know if tomorrow works and we'll schedule a quick call send me your email and best time i'll add us to the calendar and email you a confirmation They'll reply back with their with their email and best time. Again, I come over to my calendar. I book it. The email autoresponder sends out the, the welcome email. In fact, let me show you the welcome email. 
actually it's under my calendars. So we go to my calendars. This is where the welcome email comes from. Um, and that's how I set it up. So if I go into the, into the email, this is the first email that goes out right away. And that, and that's number five, Shin, that's number five is that I'll simply, um, I'll, I'll simply reply, reply back and say, Hey man, awesome. Um, send me your email and best time tomorrow. So email confirmation and reminders. I'll add us to the calendar and email you a, a confirmation. Okay. So here's what, here's the Kartra calendar and how the Kartra calendar um, works is that, um, an email confirmation and an email reminder goes out. So here's the booking confirmation. Here's what I have that goes out. Okay. And this is something you'll customize and you'll write. So the, the title strategy call confirmed. And then down here, congratulations, Jack, our strategy call is confirmed. Here's a quick summary. And then there's the, there's the, um, there's the um, event, the hosted by, and that's going to be all my name. And then best viewed on laptop or desktop. And then there is the link to my Zoom. That is it, man. That is it. That's simple. That's simple. This is an automated email that goes out the moment that that appointment is booked. Okay. And then another email, another go, another email goes out one hour. I have it set that way. You guys can set it however you want. But this email reminder, it goes out one hour before our call. Okay. So one hour before our call, this email goes out and it's the same one. I, I can customize, I can change it. I can do whatever, but, um, the title, Hey Jack zoom in one hour. And then this is a friendly reminder that our upcoming call is in one. This is a friendly reminder of our upcoming call in one hour. And then boom, there goes the link to my zoom. That's it, you guys. So that is what I do. Shin is that I don't, once they say number five, let me, let me save this, save, 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 save. Okay. So once, once they say interested to learn more, that's when I'll, I'll say that. Awesome. I don't go into my menu. I don't go into crazy dialogue. I don't send a bunch of messages after that. Right when they say number five, I am going for the appointment. This is not, we're not in a, 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 um, just only text world where you can just get your entire message across via text. You can, but I wouldn't advise that, man. I want to get you on the phone because I need a credit card. I need money. That's the bottom line. I need to close you. I need to bring you aboard. I need to exchange value. There needs to be a, tran a transaction here. And I'm not going to do that through a text message. I'm not going to do it through the DM. So I, I'm not going to explain everything because again, when you're trying to sell like a salesman and you're texting and you're messaging, you sound like a salesman. So I don't want to get into all that. I just need to get you on the phone. Like, let me get you on Zoom and let me visually show you this. Because once I visually show you everything, um, it's, a, it's a completely different game. And let's say, for example, number five, interested to learn more. Can you tell me more? Even if they want you to explain it, because they're going to want you to message. They're going to want you to explain it. If, if anything, if that one comes out, number five, and they're like, yeah, man, tell me more. Or interested to learn more. Don't think that that's an, an uh, don't think that that's designed for a message. No, your reply, that whole explain explanation is not through the through the DM. No, number five, that's when you're going straight into the appointment. And even if they want you to say, "Hey, man, can you explain more?" or "Can you elaborate?" or "What exactly do you do?" You do? It don't matter what the heck number five is. Number five can come in in many different um, forms. That's one interested to learn more. But it could be it could be a different variation. It could be a, a similar, very similar, but just set a little differently. I'm here to tell you, no matter what it is, the objective is to go for the appointment. Oh, dude, that's awesome! I'd love to tell you more, man. I got so much to share with you. In fact, I use Zoom so I can visually show you everything and not just tell you. I don't want to, and that's why I don't even, I don't even do phone calls. That's why I don't need your cell phone number because it, it'd be very difficult for me to verbally explain this over a phone call. Because you're gonna have, you're not gonna have any idea what I'm talking about. So I use Zoom so I can visually show you, I can visually walk you through it, and and so and so, and and so in conclusion, Shin. In conclusion, I'm gonna end it here. My whole strategy is to is to get them on the phone and make it seem like a consultation, make it make it seem like a free tip, 
hey man, make it seem like I'm your friend. Let me know if tomorrow works. I can share my screen and just visually show you a bunch of this stuff. I can give you all these free tips that will really help you and, and help you um, get more clients and build your social media brand. When you make it sound like a friendly call and not a sales call, that's when, 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 when the pressure is off and that's when the, the walls come down and that's when people open up because your friends, your friends on Facebook, your friends on Instagram, it's a different type of relationship. It just, it just, it's a different type of vibe. It just is, man. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. So, so I make it sound like that, that it's that type of call. And, 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 and here's, here's another thing, man. I tell them, I say, I'm going to give you all these free tips. Okay. But you're going to give me one thing because that's what they're going to also ask every now and then. Is there a charge for this or is there a fee? No, man. I'm going to freaking get you. I'm going to give you all these free tips and, and, and it's going to blow your mind. These are, the, these are the, 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 the four top three reasons or these are the top five tips on why plumbers are not capturing leads. You can word it however you want like that, but it's the same. And so you're making it sound like a friendly call and you're saying, hey, man, I'm going to give you all these free tips, but there's going to be one thing that I'm going to ask for you. So, yeah, there is going to be some type of charge, but it's not going to be money. One, one thing I'm going to ask from you is for a good review. So, John, I'm willing to schedule a call with you tomorrow. You know, send me your email in best time. And this is what I really tell them, Shen. Send me your email in best time. I'll add us to the calendar and email you a confirmation. But there is one thing you're going to owe me. And that's going to be a good review on my Facebook business page. That's what I tell them, Shen. It's exactly what I tell them, man. So they're like, okay, shit, this guy's going to give me all this great information. And all he's asking for is a review. And he's actually telling me that now, dude, hell yeah. I'll take this guy's call. Automatically, the pressure is off automatically, you guys. Now, here's how I go into the call, Shin. I go into the call as a friend. I go into the call as a consultant. I go into the call telling them everything that they can implement and, 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 and doing it in a, in a teacher type of way where I'm just teaching them how, okay? At the end of the call, I already know because I'm a ninja closer, I already know that they're not going to be able to do it. I already know that they're not going to have the time. I already know that they're not going to have the knowledge to go implement everything I just teach, teach them, taught them, showed them, whatever. I already know that they're not going to have that time. Okay. That's when they end up hiring me. That's when they say, damn, David, those are some awesome freaking tips. I never even knew that. I didn't even realize my pages were missing all that, but shit, I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't have the time. I'm going to need you to go do this. Since you're the master and since you know about all this stuff, what do you charge to go do it? And boom, that's when I get them into my trap. Stacy, I'm glad you asked. Here's what I'm going to do for you. Here's what I can do for you. I can do this, 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 and this. And then we're going to start off small. And here's what I do, you guys. I start all my clients small. I start them all on a small budget. I start them all on a, 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 yeah, I don't even call it a retainer because in the first month we're just dating. Like I'm not getting you to marry me right now. I'm not asking for 1500 a month right now. I'm not asking for 2,500 a month right now. No, the first month we're going to date, but you're going to definitely pay enough where, where I can at least feed my family. You're going to at least, you know, um, 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 put down for some budget. Cause we're going to run some Facebook ads. So you're going to at least put some skin in the game. And, 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 and on a business perspective, when it comes to the numbers, you guys, I do a few of those per week, which make a good income just on the front end. That's my front end funnel. That is the front end, front end of my social media agency where I get you at a few hundred. Now I'm going to do this, 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 I'll do X, Y, and Z. You're going to put a few hundred into it. A lot of that's going to go to the budget for these Facebook ads that I'm going to run for you to get your brand out there and get your pixel going. But you're going to put a few hundred in the game and next month we'll move on to the next step. And on my menu, Shin, next month is when I'm getting them for a thousand, fifteen hundred, twenty five hundred. That's next month, not right now. So after I blow their mind in month number one, that's when a handful of my clients will come back. Three out of every 10 will come back in month number two and say, damn, David. I'm ready for number three. And the reason why not everyone comes back for number three, because not everyone has 2000 a month to give you. They all need it, but they don't have it. Like they don't want to give it for whatever reason. Marketing is the most important piece of a business puzzle, man. Without your marketing or advertising or getting the word out for your business, no one knows you exist. No one knows you're in business. 
So you have to spend, man, you have to spend, but not everyone spends, you know what I mean? So at the end of the month, you're going to have, and, and I have my email autoresponder set up for all this, where when I onboard a client, they get a welcome email right away, right? When they schedule an appointment, they get a welcome email right away. But when I, when I onboard a client through my email autoresponder, I have four more emails set to go out. The next email goes out seven days after I closed them. The next email goes out seven days later. The next email goes out seven days later. Now we're 21 days later. The next email goes out seven days later. That's the fourth email in 28 days. All these emails are designed to get me to that next step is to get that client to reschedule an appointment with or to schedule another appointment with me so we could talk about the next step. I got them for a few hundred now, but it, that's not where we're going to really, really scale. That's just the beginning. That's just the start. Next month is where I really want you, and I really want you putting more money in the game. I want you putting more money into advertising. I want, I want to bring even more value, and it's going, to be, it's going to cost a little more as well. And that's month number two, but my emails are set up that way where it gets people to schedule appointments with, appointments with me, and that's when we're talking about that step. So, so, so that was a ton right there, you guys. I would highly encourage you to watch this video again. Um, definitely watch it again, but the objective is to get them on the phone. The objective is to get them on screen share like this. Zoom.us is what I use for my screen share. Um, I send them that, I send them the link to mine. It's a free account. You don't need to pay for Zoom. This is free. So I do all the screen share free. Um, and so, um, and, and, and I, and I use this and, and this is what I've been using since 2016. This is how I onboarded hundreds of clients um, um, from it, and 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 when it came when it came to and when it comes to um, producing my digital course, my course is where I package up a ton of my videos and offer them and and sell them. Right. When it comes to my course, I use Zoom to screen share and do my videos as well. So this right here, man, is how I did it. It's how I do it, and it's how I continue to do it. The whole objective is to get them on on this Zoom, man, and 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 show them what's on your menu. Show them, and 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 let me also say this: whatever's on your menu needs to be a pain point. It needs to be what that what that niche is already missing, or maybe what what that niche can improve on. If you're a website designer or a website developer and you're selling website services, okay, now you got to convince the market why yours is better. That's one approach to business. My approach to it is where I broke down a handful of services and I broke down a handful of, 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 of components to capturing leads online. And I already know that none of these people are, are, are implementing them. I already know that 100% of these businesses are missing them. And that's my leverage. That's my leverage. So I already know that once I show them what we, what, what I'm doing for them, then 100% of the time they're going to know that they're missing it. And they're going to just bring me aboard to do it for them because they don't have the time. They don't have the patience to learn and they have um, the money because they know they need to be spending money. To, to go make it happen. Okay. Social media marketing, you guys, social media is where every single business needs to be no matter what. And, and you're the man or the woman to make it happen for these businesses out there in your local community. So keep it simple, man. Shin, I hope that helped. Um, um, just wondering what to respond, reply one through four. So Watch it again if you need to, man, and comment below. Shin, comment below. Let me know if this made sense. Let me know what I was missing, and let me know um, how I can bring value to what you got going on. All right, you guys, over and out. I'll see you on the next video. Comment anything you guys want to know, man. Anything you want to know about social media marketing, affiliate marketing, making money online, landing pages, email autoresponder, all of that, man which consists of building a freaking business in 2020 and beyond. Um, whatever you got on your mind, man, let me know, drop me a comment and I'll, and I'll, I'll do my best to answer it. And, um, a lot of times I'll be answering it via video and, um, bring it, bringing it out to the world so everybody can learn at the same time. All right, you guys. So over and out, see you on the next one.